dusty trails of history, we read about the times when the earth was overburdened by the rule of ruthless despots who were driven by greed for power and wealth. Anyone who stood in their way fell under their sword and chaos and injustice prevailed. Overwhelmed by the torment and pain, Mother Earth sought the help of Brahma who creates the material universes on the order of the Supreme Lord. Along with the other demigods in charge of managing the different aspects of the material world, Brahma approached the Supreme Lord and offered prayers unto him. My dear devotees, I have heard your prayers. It is time for me to appear upon the earth to protect the good and destroy the evil. Do not fear. I shall free you of your burdens. Your music feeds these creatures' hearts like the warmth of the sun, Krishna. Do you like it, little bee? Is that what you want to say to me with your buzzing? Did you know I feed cow, my brother? Let us talk to them too. I can speak squirrel. like a tiger. It came from over there. No, it came from over there. It sounded like it was getting closer, didn't it, my brother? Yes, practically in our midst. Huh? We'd better hide. Hurry, this way. Enough, Shidam? <laughs> yes, I'm exhausted. Good. So am I. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. You must be exhausted from all your wrestling, Krishna. Here, let us massage your legs. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> These Apsaras uh, dance like celestial butterflies. It is not only their dancing that is celestial, my Lord Indra. But this delicious nectar which makes everything look so heavenly. <laughs> Fill my goblet. And keep it filled. Uh, forgive us, Master. But our pitchers have run dry. Then bring more pitchers. There are no more. What? You will bring me more, won't you? Dear husband. 
but it's a special brew made only from the fruit of the tall tree. I'm sure we have other tasty beverages that will satisfy your thirst. But uh, this drink is made only in Talavam, Kamsa's private orchard, and is guarded by the demon Venukasura. Surely my great husband, Lord Indra, would not let a mere demon make his favorite wife go thirsty. Of course not. I shall go to Talavan and bring you back enough sweet nectar to fill a lake. Kamsa's royal servants will be coming soon to pick up the next batch of nectar. Then we don't have much time to steal a few sips. After the nectar passes your lips, keep them sealed. If King Kamsa finds out we stole you in a drop, he'll brew the next batch with our blood. We must steal some of Kamsa's nectar before those fools drink it all. We will distract them for you. Kamsa's nectar will be easier than I imagined. <laughs> Venukasura! <laughs> no one steals Kamsa's tall nectar and lives to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> But the power of Indra's lightning is. Delightful aroma. Some kind of wonderful fruit. Hmm. This kind of ear picking doesn't smell nearly as good. Then let's find this delicious new fruit and bring some back to Vrindavan. It's coming from that orchard. <gasps> Mother Yashoda warned us to stay far away from. It's guarded by the demon, Tenuka, who eats trespassers alive. Sweeter than mangoes. Madhu's nose speaks the truth. It does smell wonderful. Let's find out where it's coming from and fill our stomachs. Uh, but we have to stay here and look after the cows. Huh? The cows? They're gone. Don't worry, Subala. The aroma must have seduced them as well. And I know just how to find them. Madhu's nose will lead the way, and we will follow. And my stomach will not be far behind. <gasps> Someone's coming. Tenukasura! Get down! It's Krishna and the cowherd boys. They're heading for Talavan. <gasps> we must warn them! Precious beverage you wear. 
<laughs> Kamsha's royal servant is right. We must not let Talavan's precious beverage go to waste. Tell Kamsha not to worry. His precious drink is safe. <coughs> In my belly! <laughs> <laughs> Krishna won't let us die. Venukasura may be strong, but Krishna is an expert in killing all kinds of demons. Subala, Shuldam, you get the cows. The rest of us will collect enough tall fruit for all of Vrindavan. <laughs> And make sure he doesn't come this way. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> it's no use. We cannot reach even the lowest fruit. If we cannot go to the fruit, then the fruit will have to come to us. <laughs> <laughs> 